Hello. Uh, normally I talk about how to do various things to a vehicle maintenance wise and uh, today I'm going to talk about a tool that I use. Uh, it's a scissor hoist and uh, right now I've got my 2007 Pontiac G5 on there. I don't know how old this thing is. Probably old, like 30, 35 years old maybe. I don't know. It's built pretty heavy. It weighs about a thousand pounds and um, it, uh, it has a locking pin so once it goes up you stick this pin in there and it prevents it from coming down. Um, I never fully trust this kind of stuff. I'm not a professional mechanic, so I try to remember that if I end up spending a lot of time under this car that I better pay attention because I might make a mistake. So I have these uh, wooden blocks. I just throw them underneath the car whenever they're up on the hoist like this. Uh, they're never in the way, cause, and if they are, I just slide them out of the way. So it's just a bit of a safety factor. I've been working on the front of the car, so I threw a block like this underneath one side under the rocker panels and another one on the other side of the front of the car. And so if there was a catastrophic failure of the hoist, um, you know, I won't be flattened out too much, I don't think. And uh, the, the power for this thing, oh, there's a hydraulic piston right in the center of it, and that's what uh, drives this thing up. But there's a hydraulic hose that comes back to this thing. It's electric over, hyper, no, it's uh, air over hydraulic power pack. Air connects to this valve right here, and I can control up and down with this, uh, this lever. And it drives air into the bottom of this big cylinder, and inside that cylinder is like a pie plate shaped seal that gets pushed up from the bottom of that all the way up and that pie plate shaped seal is connected to a long piston that is slightly less than this diameter and you can see the diameter of that guy right there is like 12 inches and the diameter of this guy is like 2 inches so the difference in area um, is, is the multiplication factor of the air pressure compared to the hydraulic pressure. So if I had 100 PSI of air, uh, this probably would have a 20 times uh, factor multiplication on the hydraulic end and probably jam out uh, 2,000 PSI. So I'm just, you know, rough numbers, but that gives you the idea. And I run it all off my, uh, my uh, beast of a compressor. It's a four-cylinder RK, five horsepower, 220 volt. It's uh, got an 80-gallon tank. And um, this is the first serious compressor I've ever had. I'm pretty impressed with it. It's quiet. It almost never cuts in because it uh, jams the air in that or, uh, to about 160 to 170 PSI. And then I have re regulated down to, to whatever I need. Okay, well, that's what I do in my shop when I'm trying to lift the car up.